Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce to you an organism that many of you are probably not familiar with, but definitely should be, Leptospira interrogans. Leptospira interrogans is a spirochete-shaped bacteria. It's thin, flexible, and gram-negative. It gets its name from one of its unique features, its question mark shape. Another physical feature of the specific spirochete bacteria is its hooked ends, as you can see in the picture here on the right, and then here on the left. Leptospira interrogans is so thin in diameter that it requires special microscopy, as seen on the right, or a dye to be seen, as seen on the left. And some bacteria that are close in ancestry to Leptospira interrogans are the bacteria causing Lyme disease and the bacteria causing syphilis. Leptospira interrogans is responsible for the disease leptospirosis. Once it infects the host, it passes this disease as it replicates. It's deadly to rats and rodents and has the potential to be deadly to unvaccinated dogs and if left untreated, humans as well. The disease spreads through the urine of infected animals by way of soil, water, and for humans, open cuts, abrasions, or mucous membranes. Leptospirosis is a very difficult disease to pinpoint because of its symptom similarities to the flu and other common illnesses. Its symptoms have a wide range and include fever, chills, headache, nausea, muscle aches, vomiting, jaundice, and abdominal pain. It just sounds like a really bad flu, right? If left untreated, the disease can lead to kidney or liver failure, meningitis, or even death. Leptospira interrogans can survive in the right environmental conditions for up to three months. However, it can't reproduce unless inside of a host because it requires the host's body temperature for maximum metabolic function. Once the bacteria enters the body of its host, it spreads through the bloodstream and lymphatic system, and it reproduces asexually through binary fission. Examples of host organisms, as we discussed, are rats, most commonly, rodents, livestock, dogs, and even humans. While not inside of a host, Leptospira interrogans is a chemoheterotroph, relying on energy from the molecules broken down in soil and water. As you can see here, the map of the most prevalent areas in which Leptospira interrogans exist. It can survive in muddy, swampy areas, rivers, and streams, alkaline soil, and in the tissue of living or even dead organisms. As you can see, it thrives in wet tropical areas, specifically Central America and South America. The biome type guide on the left shows that many of these areas are tropical and subtropical areas. And the red denotes here where the leptospira has been confirmed due to leptospirosis outbreaks. The bacteria requires these areas because of its aerobic nature and its optimum survival temperature of 82.4 to 89.6 degrees. And it also has very high pH sensitivity. Leptospira interrogans can't spread continent to continent because it's unable to infect birds and the hosts that it does infect are typically territorial and non-migratory. Leptospira interrogans is a very complex disease. A complex disease causing bacteria and still being researched. More and more about it is found out every day. It's important to vaccinate pets and be aware of its potential danger to animals and ourselves. While it's not deadly to humans when treated, it can be if not. Thank you.